Cool child, 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 child. This dude done played me. Done did. But you know what? You live and you learn. And guess what? I got a story time out of it. Hey guys. Hola, hey, what's up? All going? It's your girl Zena from Zemaka Beauty. And today we have a story time. <laughs> So based on the title of this video, y'all know it's going to be a juicy. So, I implore you, yes, on me I get comfortable because, 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 man, 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 it still kind of hurt me to this day, you know, 550 years old, you know, so. But let's get into the story, shall we? So this all started out in the DMs, as it usually does. If you guys haven't seen my previous story times, most of them start out in the DMs. So one day, I was minding my own business, and um, this dude, I posted a picture in my story, and this dude just slid into my DMs, right? And I wish I could show you receipts from my Instagram DMs, but the dude don't block me like don't did block me but you have to see the progression of that story yeah me wonder if me shouldn't do a part two the way oh it so much details in other story anyway so let's start from beginning so he's sitting into my dms he's telling me oh how nice i look and you know just start a, a casual conversation i'm uh i'm a person who like in real life and on the internet like i won't necessarily go to my way and just be friendly like that but if you come to me and we, we start talking i'm not go like Think you have bad intentions in mind that you're good that you want to play me or you just want to get into my pants or whatever i think the best of people at least i try to because sometimes you judge a book's by its cover and um, it turns out not no go so so i give people the benefit of the doubt that yo they're good and but at the same time i'm still wary but this dude seemed legit you know he never really asked any weird questions and stuff we just we're talking and stuff you know making like a friends and what whatever so it got to the point where yo um like he asked what do i do so i was like i'm a student and i run a business called body jamaica for those of you who don't know body jamaica is a fitness and wellness business that focuses on weight loss weight gain as well as it focusing on a holistic approach where you change your mind because if your mindset isn't right then all the things that you're working for health wise physical wise fitness wise trust me them not gonna go nowhere and that's all i gotta say for that on that i do have a video where i'm gonna be talking about fitness and stuff like that but not for now so as i will say back to the story so i was telling him i run a business a fitness business because my passion is fat no passion passion is fitness but it's also fashion fitness and whatever and you know it just the conversation just flowed and whatever so at the time on instagram um you know i had had up like swimsuit pictures and whatever whatever it really look good it still look good still but um i had up swimsuit pictures and whatever and one of his businesses well his business business i don't even know maybe it was a scam because a girl done i don't i haven't got paid I haven't got paid. So he's like, okay, oh, me and my friend, we run this business, swimsuit business, and whatever. And we're thinking, you know, you could come and test our swimsuits. So it's like, wow, I get, well, at the time, he didn't say I wouldn't get paid. I would get paid. I was just saying, okay, yes, I would test the swimsuit and give feedback because i mean i'm getting free swimsuit technically i kind of pay for camera i feel clear it has shipped me and everything's there so yeah i would technically be paying for it but still kind of free swimsuit so i was like okay it's a I guess it's a win-win situation so the first swimsuit he sent me um i got and it was okay um tested it sent him the information like is it good is it bad or whatever whatever yeah so i sent him that information and from there on out he said um from now on i'm gonna pay you and whatever and we worked out an agreement not necessarily a contract agreement or whatever but we worked out an agreement so we worked out an agreement based on if it's this type of swimsuit or this type of swimsuit you get paid this you get paid that and whatever granted i only got about 
four or five swimsuits from this guy. Four or five swimsuits in the span of. If you guys are here and think it's my neighbor, I'm sorry. Almost every video or every other video, this happens. I'm really sorry. But um, as I was saying, so I got four or five swimsuits from him in the span of a little over a year, which technically should have been more, but because of you'll see how the story gonna progress. So I got the first swimsuit, he agreed that he's going to pay me, then I got two other swimsuits, one was really nice, then the other one did not fit, it was just a bit ill-fitting. Apparently the software that they used for sizing was weird and whatever, whatever, so there was that problem. So I got a total of three swimsuits by the time summer 2018 came around. I got payment for those two swimsuits that I got, pretty cool, so I'm like, yo, I I got paid for my stuff you know I got paid so I'm, I'm, I'm good I'm good I'm Gucci I had my business running you know I had testing for plans and stuff like that so I wasn't really pressuring it I was tutoring you know I had a little income coming in so I had no problem during January 2019 though the only thing I had going for me was tutoring tutoring I love it but it not really pay that much you understand it not really pay that much so before january 2018 i was sent a swimsuit and i asked him did you send this he's like oh that's the swimsuit that got lost in the mail so he's like oh when i um when i get a refund from fedex you get paid i was supposed to be paid 150 us dollars that time right i'm like as I said, I had my business running. I had a little cash. I had a little cash. I was a little bit balling, right? So I wasn't pressing that money, but I don't say I never want the money because we made an agreement and I expect you to stick by your agreement. And based on the nature of the relationship, you know, we, I never really had a problem with him. I never, like, we talked cordially and all of this stuff. It was, it was a pretty, 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 cool relationship it was a alright relationship it, relationship in terms of business relationship friendship relationship were, were pretty good and in that same breath he got this sickness which I am trying to research to see if it's true all y'all medical doctors who are watching this let me know what I'm describing is true so this this is what caused all of the problem per se to me not a problem but this is what why I couldn't get paid initially so, so he had this sickness where his testosterone levels, levels were too high and this is what, gonna get a little bit TMI so if you're a little bit young just exit yeah so where his testosterone levels were too too high because he hadn't had sexual intercourse in like over a year or something like that and apparently it affected him mentally and all of these stuff and he needed to release and all of these stuff for him to get back to his normal state like the guy would message me depressed and saying oh my gosh i need help and all of these things i'm like what am i gonna do what am i gonna do but you know as a trying to be a good friend i tried to encourage him like yo just i don't know what you're gonna do but try hold on and them things there whatever whatever so that was the sickness without going much into detail that was a sickness or whatever he had he had to you know basically ejaculate multiple times and take medication that his doctor gave him to help normalize his testosterone levels i have never heard of this before and i researched it and i've never seen it before <laughs> he could have been playing me from then but so that was the that was like the background to everything so as i said he said he was waiting on FedEx to give him his refund for losing the swimsuit, yada yada yada, whatever, whatever. So January comes around, February comes around. I'm like, yo, what's going on with my payment? And say, um, soon pay you. I'm just like, really, I'm not, I, I can't leave my house and all of these things. I can't concentrate at work and yada yada yada. Like, what does that have to do with the price of rice? I just want to get paid like give me my money it's just 150 us dollars so now like the end of february march he had asked me to do some extra stuff um 
for which I would have been paid for. So, March, by the end of February or beginning of March, he owed me like $250. Fine, okay. And he just kept asking me to do stuff, to do stuff, to do stuff. I'm like, okay, maybe he just wants me to just do all of these stuff and then he'll just pay me one time. Zine? So, March, March. No, it, it wasn't March. It was, in, all of this happened in February. So, the bill went up to 500 and no the bill went up to like 350 us dollars right okay so the bill went up to 350 us dollars and there was like a week i didn't hear from him and in that week he was supposed to pay me so i realized that yo i messaged him no answer i did this no answer. so i emailed the dude i emailed the dude he messaged me oh um my, my phone isn't working i lost my job uh, 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 i lost my job i'm still sick all of these stuff and i'm like not that i didn't care but all right i i'm the type of person i'm an empath but i don't really show my emotions and i don't know how to act in situations like those like if you're crying or if you're going through something it's a very awkward moment for me i do take on that type of energy from you in which you know i feel it i feel it in a sense but i don't know how to act on that feeling so i don't know if you need a hug i don't know if you want me to pray for you me don't know what you want so me just i got to the awkwardly and just trying to do stuff so as I said, it reached three hundred and fifty dollars, and he's giving me all of these excuses, and he said he lost his card and whatever. And he's like, "Well, I mean, I'm sure you can go to the bank and take the money out of the account, but me not gonna pressure you. Can you go through now? You lose your job and all of them things there. So in about the second week in March, there about, dude, um, dude was like, oh." I got a job interview and whatever whatever and then by six o'clock this evening they're gonna tell me if I got the job or whatever 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 nigga got the job so like yo nigga gonna pay me now he gonna pay and I would expect to pay me the same week because obviously you're not gonna get paid like in the same week or whatever but he was gonna pay me plus his bank card was on the way instead of going into the bank though he told me that he called them and yo they were mailing it or whatever so the day after the friday after he got he got the job the wednesday and the friday so happened to be a snowstorm he was supposed to get the card the thursday right the thursday thursday friday he was supposed to get it and him never get it the friday because of a snowstorm which delayed the process for two weeks two whole weeks now tell me now tell me no tell me tell me and then before that let me tell you how the bill got up to 550 he asked me to do one more thing and then I named my price for the one last thing he told me asked me to do and that was 550 US dollars so this dude owed me owes me rather 550 US dollars so now do the thing I'm getting paid, got my 550 US dollars. What's the exchange rate? Yeah, whatever the exchange rate, that's like 60 odd thousand dollar girl would be bowling. So now he gets his card and everything. He, he, he gets his card, must say, a Wednesday, right? Um, but he, he no, he, the card was sent to his house, but he wasn't at home and whatever. So, dude says, when he reach home, when he's home and whatever. He'll let me know because he still has to activate the card. I'm like, yo, take your time because guess what? I still still gonna get paid and still gonna be balling. So I was like, yo, that's okay. Cause I mean, he's paid me for, so I trust him to pay me what is due. So um, I then message him the day that i know he's gonna be home I'm like yo remember to activate your card not to be like pushy but you know you've been waiting for so long to get paid that you know you just want to get paid i understand so i'm like yo remember to activate your card and whatever 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 
Me. He's like, yeah, my name, I'm gonna see you tomorrow when I send it off. The Thursday, no. Um, dude said, um, tries to, re no, dude didn't activate the card. Yeah, we're calling him dude. Dude didn't activate the card. So we, so like, first of all, he, the Western Union closed at like seven. He reaches like home like six something to get the card. Then he has to go. So he's like, you know what? Just send me my money the Thursday. No, I messaged him in the morning. Didn't get an answer. Like, didn't get an answer. Like, whatsoever. So I'm like, okay, this is quite unusual. I know he works. I don't expect him to be on his phone. But I want to get them things there. And you know, so I'm supposed to send me money. But like, what kind of thing? At that point, I was like, yo, is this dude playing? So I sent him a long very long email i'm like yo i don't like how this is going i don't like the lack of communication i don't like how things have been going lately and whatever and if you're playing me remember i know where you live i have people in canada and i said oh dude i just said where he live but um yeah i have people up there you understand so go on play yourself and if it is a mistake i apologize but don't be doing them things there but in the evening he sent an email saying um i'm sorry something's wrong with my phone yada yada he sent me an mtcn number so you know said western union you get a tracking number so he sent me the mtcn number but i realized that this mtcn number yes he sent me the mtcn number but you realize something you never send like the full thing because you know they send like a little additional information he just cropped it out so i found that kind of funny so the friday no a girl be broke on that friday um i was broke i was expecting the money so i i was like okay i can chance it go western union when i get the money i'll have enough money to do my business to go to school and whatever whatever i go to western union Go to Western Union, they put in MTCN, num MTCN number, they asked me about a question and then they asked me if the person just got a new card, whatever, whatever, whatever. So I was like, yeah, they got a new card. So it's like, oh, it looks like there's a hold from their bank and I'm like, but I ain't got no money. Like, why are you guys holding the money? So I was like, okay, right, let me communicate with this guy. I had credit enough to literally make an international call the phone rings the phone rings right and i'm like you know my mind i say if the phone here there are the technician why is it ringing if it's a screen problem shouldn't the phone be off anyways also another thing too was that I messaged him from my WhatsApp. Oh, I didn't find out the phone was at the technician yet. So let me not confuse you. Let me not confuse you. He sent the MTCN number, right? You're there with me. He didn't tell me his phone was at the something. When we try messaging, after the fact that they're telling me, oh, the bank may have a hold on the money, whatever, that's when I found out that, oh, his phone is at the technician. I personally believe nothing went on that way here is why so I messaged him from my whatsapp no answer so I have a business whatsapp I message him on my business whatsapp I get a double tick so I get one tick in somewhere I get a double tick on my business whatsapp hold up Matt. hold up Matt. so I go on Instagram and I try to look up for his Instagram name Dude done did block me. So I have like four other Instagrams. I have my personal Instagram, my YouTube Instagram, Bodied Instagram, which is my business Instagram, and Classes and Maca, which is another business which you guys will be hearing about soon. But I have four Instagrams, right? Y'all should follow all of them, right? So I have four Instagrams. So I went on Zemaka Beauty. I know he knew about my YouTube channel couldn't find him there so I went on body looked up his Instagram name found his Instagram name found him on Instagram so I messaged him from body no not body I messaged him from cousins and Maka because I really tried to 
value the professionalism of bodied so i was like i'm not using bodied i'm using cousins in my car so i found this page and i messaged him and i was like dude what's going on this is this is that like well, why did you block me what is what is going on so dude doesn't answer me so the good thing is that that same week i had an uncle who came from florida and i got some cash from him so that was amazing so i went to the bank i got the money change and i could do i could go to school because really and truly i just wanted to go to school um to do what i needed to do i think i had a test or something that day so i went to school and whatever whatever so a weekend pass and i decide for go go on a hunt so google is your best friend so i decide okay did he block his on um, instagram did he suspend his account so i decide to search his name on google his instagram page was the first thing that popped up and then i went into images and there were some not so cute pictures but yeah his instagram page which means his instagram page was still there so i'm like so i emailed this dude and i'm like no i didn't email i tried calling this dude again because when i say yo dude emails me five minutes after oh my technician called saying he got um missed calls from from a number i'm wondering if it's you and blah 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 oh mind you he has an iphone email sent from iphone So it must take me for idiots. So I'm like, well, your NTCN number, check with your bank because they must send the bank have a hole. And so he's like, okay, I'm gonna check online. He then he messaged me and said, well, the money is missing out of my account, so maybe it's on its way as well. But I'm like, you know what? Let me call Western Union. Call me not so fool. So you understand? I'm gonna call Western Union. The lady from Western Union, and this is where I realized I got seriously paid. The lady from Western Union tells me that the MTCN number does exist, but that MTCN number was used on April 1st and was not sent to Geneva. So, I him i'm still trying to i am like yo i think i'm being played but let me give him the benefit of the doubt that i'm not or that i don't know so i'm email him and i'm like you sure you sent me the right mtcn number because the lady at western union told me that that mtcn number while it does exist the person has already collected the money and the money was not sent to jamaica and it was sent on april 1st which would suggest that you probably sent me the wrong mtcn number check again then the dude the last email the dude sends was um that is the right mtcn number and i didn't even have money to send on april 1st that was the last email i got from him and yes guys that was when the time i got played by a dude who owes me 550 us dollar but you know what i serve a living god and that living god although i'm not really means in god for pour down holy fire and revenge upon him there's this thing called karma and everything goes in cycles and circles right and what i find is when people get played by somebody it just come back and let them back tenfold you understand so i'm really telling this story a little bit with a heavy heart but a little bit with hope because at the end of the day he will get what he deserves and 
that's my lesson if you've ever been played just remember that you don't have to exact revenge you know because really and truly i have his address i could do all manner of evil see unless he move or whatever but guess what his name is very uncommon too how many of those names do you have in wherever he lives you get me but as i was saying you don't have to exact revenge because the lord says vengeance is mine and furthermore i don't have the time for it you know i have things rolling out projects to do like i don't have the time so i'm just leaving it up to god i'm just leaving it up to him guys i what do you guys think about this story though like me the fool though me the fool though like i have to laugh at that laugh it out still but such is life you live you learn and um, I'm just expecting a greater return, you know, that $550. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscri subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and if nobody ever yet, tell Unu. Malamano. Ciao.